scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? So sorry, Yanko. This is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. An electrical lock system with no failsafe. The cases that might Smart. kill me were my ex's favorite. Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster, always scratch. The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <laughs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau Intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and 
David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. I'm sure Sheriff Breaker wouldn't mind me borrowing this. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yuck was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault.
Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? The lake is a gateway to the Dark Place. Yup. Already got the answers to these. I need to know what information I can still trust. Doesn't look right. for scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Scratch was pretending to be awake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful, too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick, like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. 
Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker to make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. Got it now. 
I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. Hey, Alec, it'll be easier on you to ride with us. We'll have waterfront parking. I like the sound of that.
stop calling me. David! Jesus Christ. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. That must be Torn Odin. Maybe I should check in. Get out! We're almost at the gate! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! <laughs> the boss is our hammer! I'm driving with one hand! I need you to.
to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer chorus! Come save your soul, awake new and whole. My name I will summon here. Oh, tree! Tree! What tree? There's no tree in the song! Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro! Metal to the metal! Yeah! One, two. One, two. How you feeling tonight, Cauldron Ray? <laughs> Been a while. <laughs> in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your partner here will try to keep it running. I, I'm not a damn mechanic. I wish your tech guy was here, Karen. to rock and roll. Just say when. We're waiting for your signal saga. This will be a show for the ages. Just like old times, right, bro? Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cougar and Wake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul searing mind-frying act of black magic and sorcery! This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. 
Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Give me look back in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's, let's try that again.
Right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? <sighs> so where the fuck is he? For months, after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, the fear. Alice's work had consumed the apartment her whole life. I needed to get inside the manuscript. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room.
One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography... can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out. People would die. Destroying the manuscript. It wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it. Edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. <laughs> <laughs> 